Hey everyone, this week I'm focusing on three important variables that will define the real estate market in 2021. This last year has been a tough one. The pandemic and the very severe recession it spawned weighed heavily on many types of commercial real estate. Hotels, seniors housing, sit down restaurants, and experiential retail were hit hardest. On the other hand, industrial, self storage, and necessity retail real estate actually gained ground this year. Although past recessions have had disparate impacts geographically, I cannot recall one where different property types have experienced such different recession realities. But what's this mean for 2021? Will properties that held up under the health crisis continue to outperform? And what's the outlook for hard hit sectors? For the 2021 outlook, there are three interdependent variables that will shape the real estate market. The first is the next stimulus package. If the package is significant and includes funding for expanded unemployment benefits, small businesses, housing, state and local governments, and medical care, including the resources to support the distribution of a vaccine, then the economy will be able to tread water long enough to await a medical solution and businesses will survive to reignite the recovery. However, if the stimulus is small, the economy will face greater headwinds. More businesses will likely be forced to close, weakening the eventual recovery and the distribution of a vaccine will likely be slowed. That ties into the second factor investors need to consider, how long it takes to implement a medical solution. Time is the enemy for many businesses on life support. The longer it takes to implement a medical solution, the more attrition the economy will face before a recovery can be ignited. Not only does an effective vaccine need to be created, but it needs to be distributed to hundreds of millions of people across the US. The third factor is the medical solution itself, its effectiveness and its side effects. Unfortunately, the rollout of a vaccine on a mass level will not be like waving a wand. It will take time and there will be setbacks along the way. Hopefully, the vaccines currently going into production deliver on their promise. So to offer investors some guidance, assume there's a mid-sized stimulus package that is delivered, something in the one and a half trillion dollar range. Also assume the released vaccine is effective, doesn't have major side effects, and that a critical mass of Americans receive it by mid-year 2021. Based on that model, there should be enough infrastructure to reignite the engines of an economic recovery in the second half of 2021. Here's what that would mean for real estate. Hard hit sectors like hotels, restaurants, and experiential retail could deliver a reasonably robust recovery, not a snapback, but they would steadily gain momentum in the second half. Real estate in hard hit vacation destination markets like Las Vegas and Orlando will generate positive momentum, but they will face a slower revival. Property types that outperformed during the pandemic like industrial and self storage will likely lose a little ground and stabilize. And properties like housing and office, which generally held their ground in 2020, will likely deliver slow but steady positive momentum. But I think the key takeaway here is that looking forward into 2021, unless something goes terribly wrong with one of the three factors I mentioned, almost all types of real estate will perform well. Some better than others, but on a macro level, investors with their eyes on the horizon have a promising outlook in 2021. 